Good morning. Well, morning anyway. Day 22. Dawn's warm, steamy. It's a little rain overnight. I think there's a lot more coming. And at this point, wow, I might be happy to be in the rain. It's humid. I'm sweating going downhill at 7 o'clock in the morning or whatever it is. That can't be good. The legs, they did not recover much last night. We had dude bros show up at 10 p.m. Wow. They totally crushed it yesterday, I'm sure. But showing up at 10 p.m. into a dark shelter is really rude. I think if you're gonna be a dude bro and crush it, maybe you should just go sleep in the woods instead of bothering all the people who aren't crushing it. But, but they were very polite about the fact that they were gonna make noise until 11 o'clock at night. Nice people, just totally clueless about giving a shit about other people. I don't know, maybe they fight the AT. I just find it rude, but hey, that's me. Here, look at this beautiful trail. Compared to yesterday's rock piles, holy cow, so much swear. <sighs> yeah, wow. I don't know what comes next, but I'm glad that's behind us. I'm sure there's plenty more trouble to come. We're now in the land of slippery rocks, so we don't trust any of these anymore. But, uh, yeah, we're a little behind schedule. Hopefully our driver is understanding. He's gonna bring us a box of food, so we want to be nice. But yeah, I didn't get to sleep until almost midnight, so. All right, I'm gonna need poles for this, so. We'll see you later. You can't even see the beast. You can see all those lumps they made us climb on the way down, though. You wouldn't want to miss any of those. Lord knows, we didn't miss any. Here I am, still bitching. <laughs> oh, it's so wet. And it hasn't even started to rain yet. Here's to you, Nazi. That's all you can really say about that. Well, as road walks go, this one's very peaceful. Very little traffic. Even Route 2 over there isn't too loud. I think it's Saturday. Less truck traffic. Yeah, it's a beautiful walk along the river. It's a place where the trail comes off the road for a while. It goes down through some farmland, but we're going to skip that because that's just stupid. It's full of ticks and deep grass and annoyance and sadness. So we'll just walk on the road the whole way. Got word from my shuttle driver. He said, don't worry about rushing. So I'm happy about that. Didn't get much sleep last night. 
Not going to be a lot of rushing today. Hopefully we can climb up to where we're supposed to get to. There was less than 3,000 feet of climbing today, so it's a nice change of pace. And we may have eaten some of it climbing down this other mountain, so we'll see. All right, I'll show you the bridge when we get there. You've seen the road. It's a beautiful road. The less bouncy of the suspension bridges. I can't remember if the other one is farther north or south. Remember, there's a small one that's pretty bouncy. This one is a major bridge. It took them a long time to build this. It's an old one upstream, I think. No camping, just in case you're wondering. Swimming though, you know, a lot of people come here and swim. They park in the LT lot. Sandbar here is pretty popular. I know that because I was trying to get a ride and people kept pulling in, but not to give me a ride. They kept pulling in to go swimming. I was very sad. So much complaining. Look how beautiful this is. And it hasn't started raining yet. Yet. And I hear my shuttle driver is bringing trail magic, so. Maybe I could get a little of that, I don't know. Maybe he'll think since I'm a paying customer, I don't get any, but I'm hopeful. I don't know what it could be, water? Water would be great. I ask for so little at this point. So nice to have stairs instead of having to climb down a cliff. All right. Now there's going to be a lot of highway noise, so I'll talk to you much later, probably. Sorry I haven't brought you out, but it's just been a hard slog up this mountain. I know it looks like we're going down, but following this ridge it periodically dips down and then climbs some more. The worst climbs are over but there's still a few more miles to go. We're trying to get there before the heavy rain arrives. I'm assuming it'll start pouring right when we're a mile away or whatever but I like to assume the worst. We don't cry as much later, but maybe we'll get lucky. I've been trying to go. Didn't really stop for lunch. It's just been snacking as I walk. Whew, yeah, really tired though. Didn't get much sleep last night, which makes this really hard because when I stop to catch my breath, I almost feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. Which is dangerous, because I need to stop and catch my breath. But, hello, Mr. Chipmunk. I need to stop and catch my breath, so I can't not do that. But, if I fall asleep, well, I'm definitely going to get rained on then. I don't know how long I would nap in that position, but... But it's tempting. Yeah, I don't know how much sleep there was last night, but it wasn't enough. All right, well, I just thought I'd say hey. You can see we're gonna go up here again. 
Well, I was way wrong. We were probably two and a half miles away, at least, maybe three miles away when the rain hit. It's lit up now. It's just a light shower now. It's quite the downpour. I gave up on rain gear at this point. One boot is fully flooded. There's very little to salvage anymore. So, I'll just try to go hard and wet. Pardon the language, but we gotta get there and get dry. That's all we can do. But yeah, this flooded boot is, it's really squishy. I'm not enjoying it. But I thought I'd show you some of the fun, because a lot of times you guys don't get to come out in the rain. I've got no idea how much farther it is. I'm not pulling my phone out to check in the rain. So we're just hiking blind and hoping eventually to find a sign. But I think it's still a long ways away. So I will see you there. Hopefully after I get warm and dry. Alright, we'll give this a shot. The light in here is really bad. But I guess I should talk really loudly so you can hear me over the rain. They have company here at the shelter. So I can't give you a full tour. Well, a little too close. <laughs> I can't give you the full tour, but. But yeah, I'm sleeping up in the wall. Did get a little rain on the way in, but uh, yeah, gonna get some sleep. I think it's gonna rain again tomorrow, and I think it's gonna rain the next day. And I don't know about after that. I didn't look that far, but I think it's time to break out the poncho. It's getting serious. It's really squishy walking in here. I see. We're not happy with this fish. So, in the pack, this one, there's trouble. I'm sleeping dry, but there was a little moisture in there. So, I think this kind of heavy downpour, it's going to require something over the top to keep the water from puddling up. Oh well. I will um, show you another adventurous day tomorrow. We're going to go eight miles tomorrow. Maybe. 5,800 feet of up. Get a giant mountain to climb over. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'll see you there. This was day 22, I think.